when I was a casual, I thought as a casual, I spoke like a casual, and I looked at boxing like a casual. But when I became a hardcore, I put away all those casual things. This is Michael Rogers, and welcome to Bodywork Box. Welcome back. It's Michael Rogers. Welcome to Bodywork Boxing. And, um, you know, I don't know what's going on in boxing right now. But what I can say is, man, like, this, like, I thought 2022 was going to be way better than 2021, but it is getting real crazy, man. Amongst other things, we got Errol Spence. It's almost like he being sabotaged by his own fans. We got all these people putting on capes for Bud, like, he didn't just... Bud got like a year and a half worth of bullshit that he's been doing, and now everybody want to cry for Bud. We got people acting like Devin is an absolute wash over George Cambosis. Oh, I know, I know. Oh man, what, what is he talking about? I know they. Oh man, you tripping? Huh? Man, David Haney washes like David Haney. Like, when the t- when the last time he washed anybody? Like, when the last time he washed anybody? Because if I compare his fight with Jorge Linares, it's the same fight that Jamal Charlo had with Mon- Montiel, where David Haney was dominant and Jamal Charlo was dominant. But they both got caught at some point in the fight and Devin Haney gets labeled as washing, washing Jorge Linares. He didn't wash Jojo Diaz. I don't know. I understand like you, you want to ride dick to a certain, but God damn, like, don't you want to preserve your inner walls? Like, I, I don't know how old you are, but you might want to be able to have children. You might need some of your esophagus left after you get done with all this cock gobbling. It was, it was literally the same performance, but because Jamal Charlo had a little controversy, even though he dominated at least 10 out of the 12 rounds in his fight. Oh, man, he struggled, and that's the point of contention. And why does he deserve a Canelo? I listened to a whole live chat yesterday where it was a... I'm not even going to say no names because I feel like I should be able to, but it's a bunch of, like, soft-ass people out here making content and revising history in that Canelo never dug Jamal Charlo. Well... I guess we're going to revise history and say Loma never ducked Devin Haney then with the franchise. It was the same situation, but now, all of a sudden, now it's 2022, and now people are revising history to where Canelo Alvarez never ducked Jamal Charlo. So it's like, man, when people are down bad, and we are our own worst enemies, because we hypocritical. Like a lot of y'all content creators, y'all contradict y'all motherfucking selves every five minutes. Depending on who you talking about. I just hear, I'm, I'm hearing the most ridiculous shit now. Like, who has three belts and who has one? George Cambosos has three belts, Devin Haney has one. Last time I checked, George Cambosos actually beat Mickey Bay, who was in Devin Haney's corner. And, I, and I, I guess y'all didn't understand what happened the last time with all this foolish ass, like overconfident talk. It's, it's great to be confident in your abilities. But I guess we don't learn from, from history. I'm not even asking somebody to be humble because that's having a low a value of one's self-worth. I'm not, I'm not asking for that. What I'm asking for is for us to be real. I don't, when the last time Devin Haney washed anybody? I mean, he fought Jojo Diaz, his second fight at 35. He didn't necessarily wash him. 
Because if I start putting out videos of all the time he got caught and all the mistakes, y'all gonna be like, oh, he always hating and showing shots of, of the black man getting hit. But he didn't go in there and watch Jojo Diaz. He put on a dominant for, a performance against Linares, but he got caught. And let's be real. When it came to the T.O. and the George Cambosas fight, T.O. actually had an equalizer. And it can be argued that when George Cambosas dropped T.O., it was a flash knockdown. But when T.O. dropped George Cambosas, he was really hurt. He just had veteran savvy. And he didn't use it by clinching and holding. He had veteran savvy to get out of that round. And then he turned right around and kicked it up a notch. But all this bias shit that we be talking man, I, I want Devin Haney to beat George Cambosas. Don't get it twisted. But we need to stop all this bullshit. Like all these narratives that we paint. Like he's just going to go in there and just wash this man. Since when? Body work. All right. I believe you. But my tummy can don't. Get down on your knees and tell me you love me. My words, and I do what I do. He knows what I'm about to tell him right now. It's Mr. Keep running your mouth. That's what I do. Uh, I just feel like I'm the champ. And at the end of the day, I'm just fighting my focus. It doesn't matter. Inside, outside, I can just fight. So I just feel like if you if get down to the wire and we gotta lock it up, I'm right on top. Hey man, listen, hey listen, I'm, as you can see, I'm looking, I'm, I stay solid. I'm always solid, I stay fucked solid. Right? You know what I'm saying? Some fans that know. You think you got lost out of the ring? In the fight, like I said before, ain't no safety on the clock, so you gotta get out of the ring.